Yo, what up guys, Magic IQ here, and today I'm bringing you a top speed demon, man. This is the Ford Mustang in S-Class, man. This thing is actually very nice. Now, a lot of these old school muscle cars usually aren't the most viable because they're hard to control. Well, this one's actually pretty easy to control. You're allowed to get up to 80% grip, and it actually does pretty well in the turns. On blue collar, I was able to get a high 207, and on getting high tonight, I was able to get a 155. Definitely capable of a 153 or lower. Um, I made a couple mistakes in that race, and even the race that I got 238 that you guys just saw on rapid transit i made a couple mistakes there as well but this thing you can get up to a top speed of 205 um using you know the half accelerator method at full throttle um as well as you can also boost out of the corners pretty quick this thing picks up speed very fast and carries its speed very well and the cornering you just use brake tap as i always do to initiate that micro drift and just you know burst out of the corners this thing's a beast man so let's get straight into the build wasting no time here as you guys can see we are using the stock motor that comes in this thing which is the 4.9 liter v8 so you don't have to spend any additional funds on swapping the motor now for the engine parts here we're using an elite induction a super ecu an elite fueling system an elite exhaust elite dual turbochargers a stock bottle of nitrous aka sport elite road suspension stock brakes elite grip tires no clutch as well as a five speed gearbox you can use a elite differential as well and then the auxiliaries apparently somebody said the auxiliaries don't work in multiplayer right now i don't know how true that is i personally just forgot to put them on but i would recommend nitrous grip and nitrous drift if somebody in the comments of this video wants to confirm whether or not that's actually a fact right now let me know he said somebody posted on twitter and they confirmed that the auxiliaries are broken at the moment but for the handling, as you guys can see, we have a max grip of 80% here, as well as a downforce on the high side. Now the steering sensitivity is personal preference for you. I keep mine in the middle. Trash control is off, and you wanna do brake tap for the drift entry there, okay? You can use gas tap or drift entry, or for brake tap is up to you. Um, whatever drift entry you want, it's just all personal preference there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just something quick I wanted to put out, man. I really enjoy this build, and it's actually very good. I believe it's one of the better old school muscle cars. I'm going to be testing all those out this week, kind of getting some of the old school cars that may not be used as much, trying to make them viable in the class. Let's go over the top speed stats and the 0 to 60 and the horsepower and stuff, just in case you guys are curious. We got a top speed of 191 here, a 0 to 60 time of 3.2. Horsepower is 1,080. Max torque is 1,249. And the quarter mile time is a 10.4. Now, I did say you guys can get this thing up to 204. And yes, you just have to half throttle at, you know, max speed. Don't bang it off the rev limiter. Just once you get to red line, hold it right there just beforehand. And you will go all the way to 205. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. It's been Magic IQ. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe. You know, leave a comment down below. Leave a like. It all helps with the algorithm. As well as go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Magic IQ. We're always streaming over there, man. So make sure you guys come check us out. I appreciate y'all, man. You can join the Discord in the description as well. I'll see y'all in the next video, though. Peace out, man. Later.